at Lighthouse Point on beautiful Sanibel Island. It's always a little bit breezy here as the wind kind of whips around the corner. Um, and right as I walk out to the beach, there are some dolphins that you'll see straight ahead. So you'll get a little bit of dolphin footage. Everybody loves to see dolphins, right? Um, it's something that I grew up seeing um, growing up on Marco Island, which is south of here. Um, you know, it's kind of common that we see them all the time, similar to like, you know, people that see deer up north. Um, but there's just something special about dolphins and it doesn't matter how many times I see them or how many times I expect them to be in the water. Every time I see them, I have to stop and watch and look and I get excited and I take pictures and video and it's just something that is always um, just, just something special, I guess, about about the native wildlife down here. So there's certain, certain animals, certain creatures that it doesn't matter how often you see them, it's always special and you always kind of stop and look and take pictures. Um, I guess a uh, comparison could be up north, there's certain places, Alaska, I know, I think Maine, where you have all of the bald eagles, and they're just kind of an everyday type sighting, but every time you see one, it's still so cool, you know, it doesn't matter how often or how many times you see them, it's still just such a special thing. So I don't know if you guys will be able, I'm hoping you guys will be able to see, um, trying to find out where they went, there were a couple of them out there. But this is um, a great place to see dolphins, wildlife there's lots of times live shells here you saw that sign coming in that we're you know no live shelling we just need that reminder sometimes to always be sure to check your shells check your sea life check, check your treasures make sure we're not taking anything alive um, there's also a lot of birds here to be seen um, hopefully the the wind isn't too bad um, today for you guys I know but up here you can see where this couple's walking We've got some turtle nests um, down the beach. You can see one um, right down here. And then we've got another one right here. And then we've got another one down here, um, closer to Lighthouse. So we're gonna go ahead and explore the beach. Um, as you can see, there's not a whole lot on the, hello, hello, good morning. There's not a whole lot on the beach um, right now. We've got a really pretty cockle though right here. Look at this giant heart cockle, bivalve intact. How fun. Look how pretty this one is. So just remember guys, like, and I know it's windy, I know it's breezy, I know, but um, you know, it's, you guys see my hair blowing in the wind. <laughs> um, you know, you, you'll never know what you'll find here, even though it doesn't look like there's a lot of shells, right? I mean, look at this, two intact giant heart cockles right off the bat, and we haven't even started looking yet. It also looks like the brake ride here might be a pretty good place to this morning so I'll kind of walk down and see it's just a little bit on the wavy side it's kind of hard to see in the water but if you were here in person it would be um, not a problem to break line shell here especially if you have a scooper to be able to sit here and look for those shells in the break line so if you guys can see right here I saw a piece of a tula okay it's broken but that's kind of what you would be looking for here in the break line. And you know, the shells aren't always up on the beach. Like that is the thing that I have to like see the most. Here it looks like a little paper thing that kind of rolled in with the waves here. Look how pretty that is. So the one thing you have to remember is that the shells aren't always going to be just sitting out. Oh, is that a piece of a true? Oh, it is right here. Oh, let's see if I can, let's see if I can grab it. Okay, see it? There it is. Look at that. Nice piece of a true right there. That would be pretty on like a um, picture frame if you needed like a filler for a picture frame or a shell mirror. Sometimes those broken shells make really good little filler pieces. But remember that the, the shells aren't always gonna be sitting out on the beach. Like sometimes you really have to walk the brake line or um, check the rack line. There really isn't a whole lot of a rack line going on um, today as you can see. But there's lots of stuff here in the brake line, and I know it's hard to see on camera, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make you guys um, look at this super long. But I just wanted to show you guys and see if it's a little calm here, so you guys might be able to see. You're looking for color. You're looking for things rolling. There's a little auger. I saw a little auger rolling there. Something else I'm going to show you guys too, if I can find a good little spot, is going to be coquinas. So if you can see right here, all of these little holes that you're seeing 
are Hokina holes. You guys can kind of see them. But I'm gonna show you guys, here you go. And it's really tough because the minute that you get up to them, they bury themselves in the sand. Um, they're so fast. And if you look here, you'll see all these little green things. These are actually algae attached to the, to the coquina. So I'm just gonna take this one right here and I'm gonna gently try to pull it out to show you. There's a little coquina attached on the end of it. Isn't that neat? I'll show you. Here's another one. And if you gently pull it out, find Coquina. Isn't that so fun? And they bury themselves very quickly. Here's one too that just was burying himself in the sand. Um, sometimes it takes a minute for them. If they feel threatened, they'll kind of, they just won't really move. And then all of a sudden they'll start like racing into the ground. It's so funny. little lace murex look at that hanging out here on the beach got washed right in as I'm trying to get you guys a view of these coquinas they're so fast every time I get up to them they're already buried again let's check out this break line really quick while we're here usually here at lighthouse if it's a semi calm day usually you can really see pretty well in the water um, some days the water's just really rough but today is not too bad a lot of these docinia shells so a lot of people love to craft with these and a lot of times you'll find them intact so they're always fun to collect there's a couple more there kind of floating floating along let's see what else we can we can see here's another intact giant heart cockle, although it's not giant yet. It's kind of a juvenile. And I'm always looking for color and I'm always looking for things rolling in the water. You guys can see some more of those docinias here. And I don't think we actually have a low tide today. I think this is about as low as it's going to get. We only have a high tide, I believe. what we can see here. Some duck clams, aka elephant ears. Lots of good stuff here. Oh, look what we have over here. Do you guys see the starfish? Here. Let's see. Beautiful starfish. Look how pretty. And if I flip him over, even though he was upside down, you guys will be able to see his little feet moving. Let's see if I can hold him really still so you guys can see. You guys see them moving? I know it's kind of hard. I'm trying to hold him still. So you always want to make sure, because even though if they're laying upside down and they don't look alive, right? You've got to give them the benefit of the doubt. If this is not all dried up, which clearly he's not, he's very flimsy, right? Very flimsy. You always want to give them the benefit of the doubt and gently put them back into the water. Right here in the water, you guys see that? Kind of floating, floating, getting ready to wash in. There's another double cockle. I love these. These are so fun. Um, keep in mind that if you put those in bleach and you leave them in there, that hinge will disintegrate and you'll be stuck with two halves. You can glue it back together, but if you want it to stay together, I would highly recommend um, letting it dry out. Oh, hold on, we got some dolphin footage going on here. I would let, let it dry out in the way that you want it to be, and then it'll harden, and then it'll stay that way. You guys see that dolphin was really close in, right there.
looks like it might be a baby out there with a mama. Oh, there's quite a few of them out there. Hopefully you guys will be able to see that on camera. Lots of dolphins out there today. So a lot of times, especially as we get around the corner here, the waves kind of whip around the corner and it makes the sand cloud the water. Um, but sometimes if you're patient, you'll see something like right here. What is this? So here's another, it's a double heart cockle, so it's intact, but if you'll notice, let me try to the wind. I gotta find out which way the wind's blowing. Here we go. So if you'll notice, there is a critter in here, right? You guys see him? Don't stick your finger in there because it will close on you. And these guys are so strong, you will like not get it off your finger. So this is what they look like alive. And you'll know because when you pick it up, it's very heavy. This is a, this feels like a rock. This is a very heavy shell. Um, and you can see that he is very much alive in there. I'm trying to see if it'll open a little bit for you. But this is what they look like when they're alive. They don't have eyes like a scallop. They have a siphon, like a clam. And sometimes you'll see that sticking out. It's opening a little bit for you. But we'll go ahead and put him back in the water, but that is what a live giant heart cockle looks like. And I just put that one back and I'm seeing some others here. They might be washing up. Um, here's another one kind of see the animal inside. Let me turn around to the sun. There you go. So you guys, whoop, spitting, spitting water at me. I was hoping you guys could see the animal in there. Spitting some water out. I'm gonna open up a little bit. They're kind of a, kind of a spotted creature inside. There you go. I think you can see it a little bit there. So we'll toss him back. I thought I saw another one here too, right here. Kind of rolling, 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 rolling. Gotta be careful when you pick them up because you don't want to accidentally pick them up and have your finger inside. Okay, so this one, if you guys can see, is not closing. I'm trying to get it to where the sun will shine a little bit in there so you can see. But this guy is no longer alive, right? Like I'm, I'm closing and I'm opening him and he's not, he's not moving. So you could theoretically take this one home, but what you have to do, and let me see if I can break it open, hold on. Okay guys, so what I wanna show you is this guy right here is not alive. I'm trying to get the sun so you guys can see. So he's not alive, but I'm gonna show you, and I don't know if you can see, but I'm really trying to open this up and it is it is tough right because this animal and these ligaments are really strong now you could you could theoretically take this home this is not alive there's nothing in here there's just some guts left right so you could theoretically take this home with you but you've got to clean this out you've got to get all this stuff out of there because this is still body parts in there right that's gonna it's gonna deteriorate and, and, and decay and it's gonna smell super 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 stinky bad so you've got to get all of this gunk out of here if you're gonna take this home with you. But you can because it's no longer alive. But I just wanted to show you guys um, how hard it is, even when they're not alive anymore, to go ahead and get that open. So when you do find a live shell like that, a live bivalve like that, um, everybody kind of like, you know, one way, the easy way to tell if it's alive is try to open it up. If you can pry it open, it's not alive. And if you can't, that animal is so strong. Here's another heart cockle here and there must be something here's another one that is a good display of the animal inside it's obviously no longer alive the shell suffered some damage okay but this is the this is the animal inside you guys can see how it's spotted and that's the siphon or foot that we call it that will be sticking out if you guys can see so I know it's a little bit gross, but it's just education so you guys know what they look like and then also how to tell if they're alive or not. So if you want to take it home with you, you can take it home with you. Just know that you need to get all that gunk out before you leave the beach. Okay, I want to show you guys there wasn't much of a rack line, right? And then all of a sudden you start to see some shells and some fun stuff. So this is a great place to look to um, as you 
walk along, if there is a little bit of a rack line, you're still gonna find some fun things here. Here's a little egg casing. Now this is not a lightning walk egg casing. It looks like one, it's very similar. Um, but, and don't quote me, I have to do more research on my egg casings, but I believe this is a Parawell egg casing here. And I don't know if there's, doesn't look like there's anything in there. So right here you can see the little hole where they hatched. There's the other hole, same place on every single one. There's the little hole there, there's the little hole. So this one hatched. It's still a really fun beach find um, though to find egg casings, especially if they're all dried out for you. Just be careful when you see deceased sea life on the beach, right? Like you're gonna see, can you guys see all the little ants running around here? So you just have to be careful when you're walking, especially if you have bare feet um, or kids, to just make sure that you're being mindful because there are sometimes ants on the beach and you don't want to um, get bitten by those ants. So this is gonna be a great place to kind of walk and shell. The other thing too is there's, there's a few shellers ahead of me and a lot of times people pass up really cool things like this cool piece of driftwood right here. This is a very cool little piece of driftwood. And I, you know, some people aren't driftwood people and that's okay. Um, but you know, some people love driftwood to use as displays um, or put in a cell bowl or make, make a little um, creation out of it. Here's a little view of this rack life here. Lots of little kitten paws, coquinas, scallops, slipper shells, jingle shells. Look at this jingle shell. Here's a carnita here. So there's tons and tons of little shells here. Look at this little sea. I don't know what this is. A little sea. Looks like a knot. <laughs> a sea knot. Um, but it's got some barnacles on it, so that's kind of fun too. There's a little piece of a heart cockle. Here's another cool piece of driftwood with those holes made by those clams. So there's so many little fun things that you can find other than just shells. Here's a little worm rock right here. I know a lot of you love the little worm rocks. Bright orange and you get it all cleaned up. So lots of fun things to find up here in the rack line, even on a day that might not be like quote crazy shelling. You're still gonna have some like really awesome finds if you just take the time and check out all the different places that there are to shell. I'm not picking up a ton of shells today, but there's a ton of these elephant ears. They're actually called duck clams, but to me, I've always called them elephant ears, even when I was a kid. These are great for crafting, painting. Um, they also make a great border for shell mirrors or, um, or picture frames. These docinias are great. These are what everybody loves to do um, painting on for crafting. Here's a little sea tree that's really fun. Look at that cute little sea tree right here. I don't know if that's gonna be super stinky or not, but it's kind of cute. See that? Here's another piece of driftwood. So I know a lot of you love the driftwood pieces. They're just so much fun. Here's another little piece right here. Just know that driftwood holds water, obviously, because it's wood. So if you're gonna take driftwood and it's wet, you wanna rinse it off when you get home and then let it dry completely out. Um, sometimes it takes a little while for it to dry out, but it'll be just fine. That's one of the reasons I love the brake line so much is that there's always fun things rolling in. This is where all the fun things come in, right? This is where the shells come in to form a shell pile. This is where things get stuck. There's a little shark eye right here. I don't know if it's broken, but let's see if we can grab it. Sometimes sometimes I see something and then in a second it's like gone. Uh-oh, I don't think I grabbed it that time. Uh-oh, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, I got two of them. Two of them in one hand grab. Look at that. Two little shark eyes there. That's super fun. Let me get down so you guys can see. Hopefully it's getting a little bit more calm here so you guys will be able to see a little bit better in the water here. You gotta really hunt for your shells, you know? I mean, there's not always a ton of shells just rolling in like after a big storm. You know, we've had some rain, but we haven't had any really big, crazy storms. There's a little uh, lightning walk up here that just caught my eye. It's rolling into shore. So sometimes you really have to take your time and, and just go inch by inch and check out these brake lines and check out the rack line. Here's a piece of a whelk that's rolling around here.
All right. As always, husband finds the best shells. I didn't get a video of him finding it, but he found this just right up here on the beach, um, washed up. This is a perfect baby's ear, and you can see there's some sand in there. So I'm gonna see if I can rinse it out real quick. All right, I got the sand all rinsed out, so you guys can see how beautiful this baby ear is. Look at it. So these shells are super fragile. We rarely find them whole, and we rarely find them at all, but we really rarely find them whole because they're just so fragile and they break so easily coming in with the waves. But this is what it looks like, and it is just so pretty. Look how fun. Husbands find the best shells. So if you're a sheller, listen to me, if you're a sheller and you're going on vacation and you want to find good shells, just ask your husband to go shell for you. <laughs> he always finds the sea glass. He always finds like the best shells. Find of the day. Woo! And I'll just give you guys a quick little view where we're at. So the water is getting a lot more calm now that we're getting kind of around this bend and the lighthouse is right here. You can see we don't have a whole lot of beach left too. Um, the beach used to be way out here and just with erosion, um, we've been losing some of our beach. So, but here should be a little bit more clear for you guys to see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there's a bunch of little minnows. I don't know if you can see the little, the little fish, the little minnows. Oh, true tulip. Do you see it? Where did it go? Let's see if you guys can see it. Sometimes I see it, then I never see it again. Oh, where did it go? Did you guys see it? I know I saw it. That's the only problem with brake line shelling is like you see something and then sometimes it like disappears, literally. You're like, wait, where did it go? Let's see if we can find it. It looked really pretty. Where did it go? We don't find true tulips very often here. I wish I could like hit pause on the waves for a second here. Oh, there it is. I see it. Oh, I see it. Oh, it's a little broken, but that's okay. Look how pretty. Look how pretty, a little bit broken, but that's totally fine. It is still a true and it is beautiful here at Lighthouse Point. So pretty. So sometimes you think you see something and then the waves kind of take it away and you kind of have to stop and look for a few minutes until you can see it again. But be patient, here's a bunch of those. Those are so fun and easy to collect here too. I mean, you can just pick them up left and right. I guarantee you, you'll fill your shell bag. It might not be with like a giant horse conch or a handful of alphabet cones, but I can guarantee if you're patient, you will fill your shell bag with treasures here at Lighthouse Point. I've never come here and not found a bunch of amazing treasures. Here's a crab claw floating, you see it right here. Bright orange, look at that. Bright orange crab claw, and it is all cleaned out so it won't be stinky. That's really pretty. We'll throw that in our bag and put that in somebody's beach treasure box. I know you guys love the crab um, claws. They were so fun. You guys got a bunch of different species of them too. So I will continue to try to send some fun things. And if you're not subscribed to our shell box subscription, you can get some of these exact treasures that I'm finding right now shipped to your door every month. So when you when you virtual shell with me, you're actually gonna receive some of the things you find. So it's really fun. You can check that out at virtualshelling.com slash shop to learn more about our beach treasure boxes. They can also be purchased individually, so they make a great gift. If you have somebody whose birthday is coming up, send them a box of shells. They'll love that. I know I would love that. Who doesn't love a box of shells? Box of shells and beach treasures. Okay, so we're gonna kinda come down and we're gonna go around these little trees here and kind of explore towards the pier. It's super calm on this side. Look how nice. And we've got these big boulders here. You can see in the water. A lot of times people think those are like manatees. 
um, but they're just concrete boulders, but they collect a lot of shells. So sometimes when the tide is very low, you'll be able to walk all the way out here. It'll be just like bare sand and there'll be so many fun things that you can see. And I'm just gonna walk out here a little bit to show you guys um, the clarity of the water. I don't know if you guys will be able to see on video, but it's very, very clear. Not as clear as it's ever been, but it's pretty clear considering. Um, I don't see a lot though out here as far as shells go. Sometimes there'll be a lot of shells out here, but I'll come up here so you guys can see these concrete blocks. Hopefully you guys can see that. Maybe not. I have my polarized glasses on. So it kind of takes the reflection off of the water. Come up here and show you guys more of the break line. So many shells to collect, really. Here's another shark guy I just saw rolling. A rolling, rolling shark guy. Here it is, like this. Beautiful one, too. Make sure nobody's home. And here I see orange. You guys see orange? A little horse Kong. Beautiful and perfect. Let's make sure there's no little crab or anything hiding in there. And I always like to check around like tree roots too. Um, you'll never know what's gonna get stuck. Like here's another giant heart cockle up here that got stuck close to the tree. We'll rinse this out. And up here, a lot of times, They'll have really good rack lines because the shells, look at all those shells up there. That would be a fun pile to just sit through. Sit and sift through. Ooh, is that a horse conch over there that I see? Do you guys see it? I'm trying to zoom in. Right there, do you see it? All right, let's see if we can get over there and get it. All right guys, I'm gonna come around here to the other side of this tree. Something else to take note of is you don't just want to use your eyes, you want to use your nose, okay? So when you start to smell, like it smells really fishy, okay, that's when a lot of things have washed up from a storm and they got stuck and they pass away, okay? So I know that's kind of gross, but that is where you're gonna find a lot of really fun shells. So this is really stinky right here in this pile of shells. Here's a crab claw, right? Here's a little crab claw, a little stone crab. Here is a little broken piece of a king crown so the king crowns are here but what you want to remember is when it starts to get stinky that's when you're gonna find some fun stuff look right here we've got a beautiful lace murex look at this oh my gosh look how perfect and gorgeous that is wow absolutely beautiful let's fill this in sand and then next to it oh, it looks like there's another one in here there's another one in here and there is a beautiful, intact, all cleaned out, gorgeous Sunray Venus. Look at that, that is beautiful. So this is an awesome little spot that I would plunk right down and I would check out all of this, all of this pile right here. I'm trying to go find that horse conch, that's why I'm over here. But if you look down, I mean, you're just, there's so many shells. Look at these little intact coquinas, kitten paws, all kinds of fun stuff. Let's see if we can get up and over. And now I gotta see where that was. It was behind one of these little branches, right? Hold on, I gotta get on the other side. Let's see. All right, let's see if I can. I saw it from that side. Now I gotta find it from this side. Does anybody see it? Looking for a horse conk. Oh my gosh, isn't that so fun? Oh, there it is, it's under here. You guys, come on. There it is, do you see it? <laughs> oh my gosh, we found it. There we go, there it is. Fun. So yeah, keep in mind all of these amazing piles that are a little bit stinky, 
that you might see a bunch of flies all over, a lot of times that's where you're gonna find some pretty cool stuff. So this big pile here is something that I would just sit right down on a beach towel or a chair and sift through all of that good, all that good stuff. Lots of tree roots and things to look at around here at Lighthouse. A lot of times after a storm, like you'll come up here and there'll be like really good stuff stuck right in there um, under these roots. And if you look at a lot of these exposed roots, you're gonna find periwinkles. And we love them. They come in a variety of colors. They are a marine snail, but you'll mostly find them clinging on to pilings or trees like this. Let's show you guys. Aren't they so cool? I always enjoy seeing those. Here's another little cluster of them here. I think that these trees are so cool. Like they just have roots growing everywhere into the sand. They're so fun to look at. This is an old palm tree. This is the, the bulb or the base of a palm tree. You never know what will be stuck in there. There's more of those periwinkle shells in there. But lots of stuff gets stuck up in these roots. There's a little conch down here. So it's always a good idea to check those out. Just be careful when you're walking. You don't want to trip on any of these roots. Oh, here's a tulip. Is it true? Oh, it's a banded, a little worn out banded tulip here. what else we can find since the water is a little bit calm. This is a great place to find egg casings, mermaid purses, driftwood. So if you're looking for those other types of treasures, this is a great, great place. There's a little whelk right here. Let's see if we can maneuver around trees. Oh, there's a little lizard running, running very quickly. You always got to watch your head too, right? Because these branches are like right at head level. So make sure you duck and you watch your head. You don't hit your head on anything. We're going to work our way this way down here. I feel like I'm like on a rugged hike or something. But no, I'm just a Sanibel. <laughs> Not really out in the wilderness. There's a little rack line forming up here. Sometimes you'll find some fun stuff up here. There's a little paper fig here. Up here. Ooh, and over here, see what we got over here. We got a little sea urchin. Let's see, I think this one's broken. But this one is not. Look how pretty. It's a little bit bleached out, but it makes a beautiful, like, pinkish purplish color, right? Look how pretty. Perfect and cleaned out. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into our shell bag and we're gonna get out one of those bivalve cockles that we found, right? Like this. And we're gonna put them right in here and put them right in the little box like this. 
So now he's safe in there and I can stick this in the bottom of my shell bag in the corner so it doesn't pop open. And that way I know when I get home and I'm emptying out my bag and I never just dump my bag out. I always take out the shells by hand. So that way if I have any bivalves together closed, I know that there is a fragile in there. I love this. Look at that big root system of that tree. Sometimes the stuff gets stuck around here too. It's really good to check out. And I want to show you guys too that they have formed this barrier system. So you can see how close the beach is to the road. So to prevent erosion, they have these big concrete cylinders that you can see. And it helps to block the water from coming up and eroding the sand. So the interesting thing is if you come over this way, all of these cylinders and rocks act as a trap for a lot of shells. You'll find some really cool stuff a lot of times that get stuck up in here. There's another, look at the little baby one. Look at the little baby, baby cockle, how cute. So this is another really good place to look. There's a really pretty auger right there. You see it right here, the auger shell. So this is also an awesome place to look. There's a little tulip, can you see it? Little tulip here. If you guys can spot it. There it is, right down here. Cute little tulip, look at that. That's a great, cute little tulip. Just kind of check and see if anything cool got stuck up here. It's always some really neat things to be found around these boulders. So sometimes you can't get down here because the tide is too high and the water will be all up over these boulders here. But at low tide, you usually can walk by and check and see if anything fun got stuck up here. Look at all of the little, woo, my goodness, look at all the little periwinkle shells on this rock. Can you see them all? There's so many. And these, this, this time they're black and white. Can you see the little incredible? You guys can see them. Isn't that so neat? I love seeing stuff like this. It's so fun. All right, so water's getting a little deep here. So I'm gonna go up on these boulders. If I can manage not slipping and breaking my neck on camera. There we go. Give you guys a view. So pretty here. Such a fun place to shell and explore. All right, guys. I'm just gonna give you guys more footage of some fun dolphin action here at beautiful Lighthouse Point. I hope that you had so much fun virtual shelling with me today. Beautiful morning. We got dolphins. We got fun sea creatures. Um, we got beautiful breeze going on here that hopefully you guys might be, at, be able to <laughs> feel it, but I think you'll be able to hear it. Um, it's just been a beautiful day here. So Thank you so much, as always, for your support and your encouragement and for being members of the Virtual Shelling Network. Or if you're watching this with on Shelling On Demand, please do share with your beach-loving and shell-loving friends. There's still a lot of um, shellers that don't know about the Virtual Shelling Network. And I know me personally, I would love to binge watch shelling episodes all day. So it's definitely something that I would wanna know about. 
So please do um, share with your friends. Here's another look at the beautiful lighthouse here. If you have any questions, comments, requests, please do email me directly at virtualshelling at gmail.com. And until next time, I will see you again soon. Have a shelltastic day. Bye.